everyone, it's your favorite blind girl back on your screen with another one. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what I eat in a week, FYI, full disclosure here, I don't cook seven days a week. Also, this video took more than a week to do. One, because if you watched my first quarantine and chill vlog, you know what happened to my camera. And two, because since I'm single, I live solo dolo, I don't like to cook every single day. Who wants to be in the kitchen every single day? So what I end up doing is I cook three meals a week, and then on the fourth, I'll just chef up something super lazy and quick, and then that's considered my meal prep for the week. But I figured that'd be a really boring what I eat in a week video, so I wanted to give you seven different dinner options so you can get a vibe of what I tend to make during a monthly basis, especially since a lot of you have been requesting this video for months now. I hope that you enjoy. If you do, hit the thumbs up button and let me know what recipe is your favorite, and let's get into it. But first, coffee. Because we need to get caffeinated if we're going to be in the kitchen all day. <laughs> I absolutely love matcha, but every once in a while I have to pull out my maca pot. What's your favorite caffeinated drink? Moving on to breakfast, I'm going to make a quick smoothie bowl with some protein powder. Because the fruits were already frozen, I only have to put them in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to do the DQ test. You remember the blizzards back in the day? Just make sure that it's solid before I top it with my fruits of choice. And because I wanted to get bougie with it, I put some coconut flakes, some green bean granola, and nuts on top. This one is so delicious. We're squeezing a lot of citrus over here because we're getting into our chef bag. Restaurants are closed here, so I wanted to try something different. On the menu are carne asada tacos. These turned out delicious, but the process, I don't know if I can do this again. Super simple, but the smell of this beef in my apartment, disturbing. Once that was out of the way and I toasted my tortillas, I put some of the meat on top. Maybe next time I'll cut them first instead of after. I put my cilantro, my tomatoes, and my purple onions. It was so good, so flavorful. Maybe less cumin next time, but overall very delicious. Dinner, we're gonna go a little lighter with it. I'm making cow soy, which is basically a Thai style soup. You'll see in this video that I go to all parts of the planet when it comes to cooking. All you have to do is put a bunch of veggies in, top it with your vegetable broth. You put your rice noodles in, don't make a mess like me. Can't be a blind video without a spill somewhere, right? For breakfast, it's Stranger Things time because I love me some 11 Eggos. Like, what millennial would I be without the avocado toast for brunch montage? The toast is ugly. I like to have it with a glass of water or jug because we need to stay hydrated over here. For dinner, we're gonna make some green curry. So back at it again with the Thai dish. And this one is so delicious. I love the way the veggies soak up the coconut milk and green curry paste. And you can season it however you want and put in whatever vegetables to switch it up. This on top of bed of jasmine rice is perfection. Pick it off. We're gonna make some chili. What cuisine is that? Is that American? Anyway, I always hated chili growing up and I realized the reason why is I'm not really a fan of the ground beef in a soup texture kind of thing, so I make mine vegan. A whole bunch of vegetables, some diced tomatoes, and of course, beans. And as this works, you just stir it through, leave it for half an hour, and that's all you gotta do. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It's already looking mashed up. This is a throwback to me because my great grandma used to always make banana fritters. They're super easy, there's only five ingredients. I don't know why my pancakes never look pretty. Sad looking banana fritters and an apple. Whoop. Chewy, but delicious, and perfect amount of sweetness. Let's go under the seat for this one and take some salmon, make sure you clean it, and we're gonna season it, as well as seasoning our potatoes to roast them. This is one of my favorite go-to meals when I'm craving some seafood. 
but I don't want to really deal with the fishy smell. Also some left for meal prep. It's so tender and so succulent. Oh, with the kale on top. Now we're gonna make a super simple pasta. Portobello mushrooms. Of course, everything starts with garlic. And then we're gonna add some regular white mushrooms. I'm gonna put a lot of seasoning in there. Add the pasta. There you have it. A spaghetti. Okay. This morning I wanted to pull out my waffle iron since I haven't almost all year. And I made some buttermilk waffles. These turned out so good. I definitely want to try it again. But why is buttermilk so expensive? I need answers. For lunch, we're gonna make a baby bok choy with black bean sauce. So I have to blanch the bok choy first, then create the sauce. That recipe online was no good, so I ended up doing what I thought would be better and it turned out pretty well. Then we're just gonna cut up some more of our base veggies to saute everything together. And that's it. Super quick, super easy, very healthy and also vegan. I broke it, so I glued it. <laughs> Should've cut it. I definitely tweaked that recipe because I was not feeling it, it was too bland, but I like how this ended up. Mmm, curry chicken. I don't cook Caribbean often enough, but when I do, it has to be blessed. So we're making some super spicy succulent curry chicken with a lot of chickpeas. I don't eat big portions of chicken, so I like to fill up my protein with some chickpeas or beans. For breakfast, we're gonna have, guess what? Another smoothie, another one. This one's gonna have pineapple, banana, and just be like a light tropical smoothie with a little bit of protein powder. I'm addicted to coconut water. That's something you'll always find in my house. And I put some hemp hearts on top. I was craving something spicy for lunch, so we're gonna make a spicy basil chicken dish. You need a lot of basil, some chicken, of course some onions, then you're gonna create a sauce. It's only about four ingredients. And then once you stir that up, you pour it on top to glaze it and you stir it until it soaks in. You top it off with the basil so that it doesn't get too withered. And that's it. So easy, super spicy. I'm setting the mood for this one even though the time it took for me to light the candle was longer than the time to make this pasta. It's just a simple tomato pasta with roasted Brussels sprouts. Morning, it's a matcha moment, but this time we're gonna flip it. Usually I have my matchas hot, but I'm just heating this up so I can whisk it. Then we're gonna cold foam our oat milk. It's not very often that I have my matchas iced, but I was feeling icy today, and it's the gold straw for me. I was not about to be in the kitchen for any amount of time for lunch, so as you can see, all I did was dice some chicken and cauliflower. I'm gonna add some peanut sauce to create a peanut satay, and a little strawberry salad on the side. wanted to try a new recipe, so we're gonna make honey soy salmon. This one was very smelly to make, but it tasted great. Because I'm clearly confused, if you watch that vlog, you already know, I'm also making some guacamole on the side. Using my vision buddy to double check that the cilantro is still fresh making some plantain because why not? This is the most multicultural meal of this video. If you watched this vlog, you already know what type of time I was on. For breakfast, surprise, another smoothie. This one is different though, because it's a detoxifying one. There's a lot of citrus in there, more than I've ever had before, but I'm glad I made it because I needed it. Looking for a midday pickup, 
It's another matcha moment. I didn't really have an appetite for lunch, so I just wanted to make something super light but flavorful. So we're just going to lightly bread some shrimps and add in our habanero or scotch bonnets with some green onions, pat it dry, and you got you some spicy pepper shrimps. These are so good, it's better than popcorn shrimp, trust me. I added a little salad on the side. Now it's time to eat a little cleaner. We're gonna have some fettuccine made out of spinach, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, and pesto. And for an eat improvement. <laughs> what a mess, what a mess, what a mighty good mess. <laughs> the texture is different. It's definitely not a normal pasta or fettuccine texture. There are so many benefits to a good golden milk or turmeric latte. I made a video on this whole recipe if you want to see what it looks like. Quinoa is one of those things that I always forget is so good, not only for you, but it tastes good when you season it right. So I'm making a quinoa dish with some sauteed vegetables that I've seasoned with teriyaki sauce and soy. Whoa, there's a kick. I put half a jalapeno in there. It's a lot. This is actually really good, I'm proud of myself. I was craving something that was Chipotle inspired, so I came up with this cilantro lime rice bowl with fajita seasoned vegetables. It was so easy to do. All you have to do is saute the vegetables until you get the desired tenderness and top it on top of the cilantro lime rice. Those are my meals of the week. Let me know below what your most delicious dish is. If you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, love and later.